The following will contain spoilers in the Owl House series, as well as some possible pinpoints from Hunting Palisman Season 2. So, you have been warned. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Dragon Videos and it's been a while since I've done anything Disney based. So uh, since season 2 of Owl House came back, I decided to talk about Luz's school uniform that she got from the episode of the, th the first day. It's very spectacular and pretty interesting too. Ever since she's had this, there's always been a lot of colors to it, which of course represents her going and tackling every single one of the nine coven tracks in this system, which definitely shows she has defied all odds. But I feel like there is some special meaning to it. But before I could get to that part of the reason why I have this video, let me explain a little bit more about the Magic Coven for some of you who don't know about this story. So, there are nine coven tracks that specialize in a specific kind of magic. Abomination, Bard, Beast Keeping, Construction, Healing, Illusion, Oracle, Plant, and Potions. Each of these are only one specific kind of magic, and there's a specific color that represents that track. And in this case, I feel like they can also represent a certain per concept of personality. In this video, I decided that I'm going to discuss more about Luz's clothes designs. I feel like out of all the choices of the coloring, I feel like the four colors that are represented on her clothes represent a certain aspect of her personality, and not just because she specifically knows the four kinds of spells. Actually, I feel like it just highlights not only some of the coven magic that she might be more equipped with, but also along the lines of just representing her as a person. So without further ado, let's begin. Plants have an insane way of growing. They can really grow in a lot of places, or can actually bend in the direction of a light. So when you sort of see flowers or certain plants you're caring for, and they kind of look like a crooked at an angle, that's because they're going straight for where the light source is coming from and making sure they get all that sunshine. But putting that aside, the green sleeve represents the plant track, which just shows that plants are capable of growth and adapting to the situation they are in, even if it means trying to go in the direction of that light. And this kind of represents a little bit more about Luz's character. She definitely has gone into, through a lot of stuff, especially with Willow. The funny thing is, actually there was a YouTuber, uh, Rebecca Rose, who made a mention that Willow's name means a natural willow tree, but also shows the capability of adapting. And this is no different with Luz, because she's also the kind of person who adapts to the situation at hand. She, Whatever situation she's thrown at, she merely acts and upon the first idea that comes into mind. And it's not only just in terms of real life situations, it also represents her personal growth with magic starting off from simply learning how to draw the symbols and then using them in a more creative way, which also helps her have that capability of taking on the opponents before her, as well as 
figuring out how to actually draw symbols when there's no paper around. This just shows that Lewis has the capability of thinking outside the box, as well as just allowing her freedom to act upon will. But it also represents the growth that she's going through. In the beginning, she definitely was a little bit of a reckless, as well as having issues understanding or empathizing with people because they would always run away from her or have issues with her creativity. As she progresses forward in this series, we definitely see that she's becoming a bit more careful with her creativity as well as just paying attention to her surroundings and the people she cares about because she knows she has to be very careful with her relationships. The Oracle track is known to have the power to see into the future as well as summon spirits. It's a bit spooky, but it would make sense of why Luz would wear some purple in her outfit because it's always associated with that track. Not only that, but purple could also represent one of the colors for royalty. Though in this case with Luz, I feel like that's a bit of a stretch as of right now. Anyway, I feel like this kind of reflects Luz's insight. She does have a tendency of looking at the bigger picture on the concept that she's a very creative person. And with creative people, they kind of think out of the box and sometimes have a chance to look at the bigger picture that's before them. One of the biggest examples I feel like is perfect is when she faces off with Odelia and escaping expulsion and immediately understood what she had to do in order to make things right. As well as she's digging into the past of Philip Wittabane in hopes of getting home. And also, it's also a special insight she's going to have to have when it comes to her mother because she wants her to give the reality of what her mom's doing to her. As for in terms of Emperor Bellows, Luz is slowly getting the idea that he's not exactly a person worth trusting. And she has been impacting a lot of members of the Emperor's Coven so far. Lilith, by helping her realize that what she was doing to her sister was wrong, and that working with the Emperor would not guarantee to heal her. And of course, this insight would be having to do with Hunter now realizing that he is a powerless witch. Luz would have some um, understanding, but also would help with him come to grip with reality of what is really going on with the person he once knew and cared about. Luz is definitely an insightful person, as well as some of her insightfulness may rub off of certain characters, which, such as Hunter himself, in order to help understand the reality of the situation. For some of you who may not be familiar with the word bard, bard is actually a term for musicians, someone who specializes in creating and mastering music. So when people would think of music, they would always associate it with harmony, getting along. And I feel like that's something Luz does. She wants everyone to get along pretty darn well, learning of how to make friends with other people that are different from her. And we definitely see it throughout the entire series, she's willing to try to make new friends. It's just that sometimes she needs to be realistic about it. Also, red could also represent love and passion. And of course war, but that doesn't seem to fit Luz quite so well. And well, she is brave, but not up to the point where she constantly fights everyone. So anyway, with love and passion, Luz is a very caring person who likes to put her relationships, no matter what happens to her or to anyone else. She wants to make sure everyone is cared for equally. 
one of the most memorable times that Luz ever expresses love is through Amity. She really cares for her and tries everything in her power to help Amity through the tough times, especially with her parents. And of course, we have her relationship, which is a little iffy with Camille, and one that is probably the best relationships is her relationship with Ida. She cares for Ida and does everything in her power to make sure that she's okay, as well as helping Ida with the curse, and definitely helps just define her as a very caring Last but not least, the color on her pant leg, I believe on the left, is basically blue, part of the healing coven. Blue is also considered very relaxing, calm, serene, and also represents, in some cultures, holy divinity and a sense of innocence, which you would sometimes see with people with blue eyes. And I feel like this also feels very appropriate in terms of Luz's personality, somehow healing others, or in their case, the relationship. So in Separate Tides, Ida had explained that one of the good things that Luz has done for her is actually help restore her relationship with Lilith, as well as giving Lilith the chance to kind of fix things after the horrible stuff she had done years ago and help her try to move past that regret. Even though they both still share that curse, at least their relationship was set up in a way where it was once again healthy. Not only that, but the Clawthorn sisters were able to have a better relationship with their mom in episode 5 season 2, episode 4 season 2, excuse me, of keeping up appearances where Luz was able to try to help Gwendolyn actually pay attention to the reality of her si um, attempts to heal Ida and what was affecting Lilith in terms of her parenting. Even though we all know that she meant well, it still had some problems. And then of course, in some ways, Luz's personality had healed Amity. Amity was suffering a lot of emotional pain thanks to her parents that had made her become very isolated and alone and unable to express her emotions in a healthy way. Because of this, Luz was able to try to help Amity get real with her feelings as well as make her feel comfortable of having her voice being heard out in a way that she hadn't thought of before. Not only that, but it helped with her relationship with her brother and sister who at first were ready to rain hell down on it, poor Amity, but as they began to grow closer through via Amity, I mean, through Luz, things start to take a turn for the better. They start to become like little parents to her. And then, in some ways, I feel like Luz is helping Hunter heal as well. From the scar and how he acts toward Emperor Bellos in Episode 6, Hunting Palisman, it definitely helps him kind of slowly get in touch with his feelings and acknowledge that he's hurt emotionally and mentally and that he needs to, in some ways, get more acknowledged with his feelings. At least with Luz, he doesn't feel as ashamed about his situation and at least had someone to talk to about these sorts of problems, which also helped with his mental state. Overall, these colors represent Luz as a whole, as a kind, caring, loving person who is always adaptable to every situation that's thrown at her, as well as being able to have everyone get along and have a very interesting insight when the necessary situation calls for it. I do hope we get to see more of Luz's character later on in the show. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. What are your thoughts about Luz's clothes? Do you think Donna Terrace had a special meaning for them? Or do you feel like there's another aspect of a personality that I may be missing here? Remember to do a comment, do a like, and subscribe to my channel. This is Dragon Videos, signing off!